What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Martin Bacali versus Sergey Kuzmin. Now, I covered this fight live Saturday, but I didn't do an official breakdown and fight study and what I felt about it, a reflection of that fight. So let's go. Um, Bacali, very good boxer. Kuzmin, very good fighter, okay? Very good counterpuncher. Kuzmin was a game opponent, very, very tough. One Once beaten, just like Bacali. Um, in fact, beaten by the same guy, Michael Hunter. And that's another subject we'll, we'll get to. But the beginning of those rounds, Bacali was just winning from the outside. He had the, he had the reach. He had the jab, and he was doing a pretty good job. Now, the moment in time when he decided, okay, to square up, and I think that was in the second round, the whole fight changed. That's when Kuzmin was able to counter, lean into shots, take his advantages, uh, fight on the inside, and that's what made that's what made it very interesting. Um, Rounds three was similar to round one because then Bacali decided, you know what, let me go back to boxing from the outside. And when he was boxing from the outside, he couldn't be touched. He couldn't be beat. Every so often, Kuzmin would get in those uh, counters in there over the jab, okay? And it would get Bacali's attention. However, this was a solid fight between two solid fighters. What do I mean by that? They weren't the cream of the crop, but they were far from the low. They were definitely contenders, and they showed a great beard because both of these fighters went blow for blow, toe for toe, and they took those shots, and not any of these shots had these guys wobbly to the point of uh, you notice it like, oh, snap, he's about to fall. Even when Bacali tried to engage with Kuzmin. Kuzmin, that's when he kicked it up a couple notches. So it was a very good fight. I mean, the scorecards weren't all that bad. You know what I mean? They weren't all that bad. You know, like some were, you know, it was decent. You know, but uh, Bacali, I would give it a little close on the scorecards, though, honestly, because I think some of the middle rounds, um, Kuzmin won also and uh, some of them were just like swing rounds they were very tight very very tight and um i think the winner should take another crack at michael hunter because michael hunter has been released from match room um so i think if michael hunter wants to get any type of fight purse or any type of opportunity to come back to match room he would fight one of those guys or in fact fight the winner of those guys give them a chance to redeem themselves to see if he can still keep his victory over that particular guy and his name is martin bacoli martin bacoli is a very tough guy if he can't fight him i would suggest him fighting huey fury that would be a good fight right because i think bacoli has the power and huey has the skills you know <laughs> So I, I see a good fight brewing between those two guys. But it was a very, very good fight. Um, you guys tell me what you think of Martin Bacoli defeating Sergey Kuzmin. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.